It's Money Monday, a segment here at 4 o'clock where we talk about easy to understand ways to navigate our finances. We do it with the help of our friend and financial expert, Paul Hood with Hood CPAs. Uh, Paul, joining us from Austin, Texas today. What are you doing down there, my friend? Yeah, so we're uh, shortly after the first of the year, we're going to op open uh, our number six and number seven office uh, as a firm. So open in two offices down here. We're excited. That's before you know it, you're going to be nationwide. Uh, congratulations on expanding Thank down you. to Texas. Uh, I want to jump in with Rick's question here, especially considering we're only days away from Black Friday. Rick says, is Black Friday shopping really worth it? I feel like the deals are a gimmick to spend more money than you're planning to. So, Rick, yeah, you're, you're correct. Um, stores have, retail stores have what's called loss leaders. And that's exactly what they are. They, they sell things at a loss to get you in the door, whether it's in their store physically or on their site uh, to, uh, to shop. And so they, dis they dramatically discount those prices. Uh, I'm not saying they mark up other prices, but who knows what they do. But the reality is, is those are loss leaders to get you in the store. So the, the thing is, if you can be prudent and just buy those things instead of you know, deviating and going off to other stuff, those are great, absolutely great vibes. Paul, Amy writes in saying with the governor's new restrictions on restaurants and bars, she's talking about the curfew of 11 p.m. Uh, what are some good ways we can help these businesses out financially? Well, you know, Amy, I appreciate that question. As you guys know, we, we um, have a, a, soft spark, a soft part in our heart for uh, people in the restaurant business, especially the employees, and, you know, try to give back. So eat out. Uh, yeah, it costs a little bit more, but in, when times are tough, we all kind of share. We can come together and share. Um, tip liberally um, and make sure you, you share that, that wealth with people because a lot of times we go to the, the big box stores and buy our groceries and, yeah, we save a few bucks, um, but a lot of times that money goes into another state or big corporate office. And, and uh, I like to try to find restaurants, especially locally owned restaurants, and eat there. Um, and and give some big tips. So um, it's time to, to share when other people are hurting. Paul, you're going to like this next question because I know you like to talk about budgets. Jill says, I'm starting to make my personal budget for 2021. Uh, do you have any advice for making changes from last year's budget? Well, Jill, a, a budget is really prioritizing where your money is going to go. So I would uh, see where you failed, where you succeeded in your budget. Uh, in other words, if you, if you budgeted X for one um, area and you went over and another area you were under, then you can shift things around maybe to help you out because the main thing is that we want you to try to live on 70 to 80 percent of what you bring home. And so redoing your budget is a good time to say, well, do we really need this? Do we really need that? And reallocating things, um, in other words, to, to uh, have more power in telling your money where to go. So it's uh, and, and then you look and see what what is important. Uh, is it really important to eat out that much? Is it uh, as long as you are saving 10 to 15, 20 percent? I don't care what you spend that other part of. It's just how what makes you happy. Paul, great to see you on this Monday and happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. You too, brother. Hey, I'm I'm actually hiding out down here in Texas because my Cowboys took such a spanking. So <laughs> I kinda had to flee the state. Yeah, that was, <laughs> almost had to flee the country. That was a rough game. Wasn't yeah, it? <laughs> that was rough. That was rough. Oh, man. Well, have a great holiday. We'll catch you next week. And if you're watching right now, you have a financial question you'd like for us to uh, chat about next Monday, just send in your question. You can do it right now to MondayMonday at Griffin.News.